to go to the area of production. So, but my granddad will just on Tuesday morning. There will be a, when the restaurant was closed. It would be Tuesday. We would we would be allowed not to go to school. So we wouldn't go to school. And me, my brother, my cousin, and also the other cousin. Girls, the girl. How do you say cousin girl? I don't remember. Yeah, no. cousins. Cousin, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? We we'll go on this Fiat Seicento and we'll go to this place to the father of the guys that I buy truffle from today. Mm. So it's a family things that we have from with these people. And we would go and we waited on this petrol station. And it's always, you know, we, you're talking about low Piemont. So a lot of, uh, uh, if it's not cloudy and, and rainy, it's very foggy. So it's always like this straight going like in the road, uh, my granddad, uh, the cigarette all the time. It's more, uh, we drive on that and then we wait in the car. And it was like, uh, it was like more like a drug deal, more than oh a It's like, 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 you know, that, that wait here at the petrol station. And then suddenly the car, the guys will arrive, and then the back of the car will be open. And then, you know, and we were allowed to play with the dog. The, the dog would come out, and we were allowed as a kid to play with the dog, which usually are incredible. The, the dog is one of the most amazing things, even better than the truffle, is when you see the, what's happened between the dog and the guys. That, and the Trefola is incredible relationship. And then we used to we used to get, get like two or three truffle and by the time we come back it would be like 12, 1 o'clock and my grandma will cook, you know, a dinner, a lunch, there will be you know some pasta with truffle, some risotto was a must, and then always some roast veal with truffle on top. And then if it's a little bit left over, she'll make a zabayone with truffle as well. Mm -hmm. And that was it, that was it, that was our truffle. But the truffle will be finished. There wouldn't be any left over. It had to be finished. That was a meal. That was a truffle for one meal. Wow. But I remember that it was like a, a big, big thing. And come back and wash it and clean it. And my granddad was had almost like a ritual for that. Because of the tremor, because of, of the of the, of the earthquake, the actually truffle is is more flavorsome. You know because. You know, somehow the tree are kind of a little bit scared or they are under stress, under stress as we yeah. say and you know suddenly they confer a much stronger flavor to the to the actually truffle. Pretty interesting fact. It's yeah. incredible and you know you know I say to him can we prove this is that something we prove this bow that's a very difficult thing to prove because we don't even know how to cultivate yeah. truffle you know this is the only possibly one of the only couple of things that it is you know, that's yeah. it. White truffle either it grows or it doesn't grow. But you said you did it, it came out best in a taste test by far. It came out test by far from the one that we got from Asti, which is you know near yeah. Alba, yeah. and San Giovanni d'Asso, which is in, in, in so these are the three main areas. Yeah. Umbria, San Giovanni d'Asso and and, 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 and Alba. Alba. These are the three yeah. main production because you know it kind of like comes down on the upper yeah. kind of thing. But you know, it's a it's a Obviously, Alba is the most well, famous, well known. known place yeah. for truffle. It's almost like it's like it's the stock exchange yeah. of truffle. Yeah. That's what the price gets. Yeah. That's what they can calculate how much is needed and how yeah. much they have, and then sort of every price set the price. But you, for it. you said perhaps the more industri uh, not uh, uh, intensive agriculture in Alba this has an impact on right. their truffle. That is exactly what yeah. it is. Pesticides. Yeah. And, and you yeah. know because a lot of of the territory has been turned into wine yeah. land, and so wine yeah. uh, vine is it, yeah. there is a lot of pesticides and things yeah. that are put yeah. on it, and this has been the major problem for yeah. that yeah. because as soon as you start to apply things like that, the truffle disappears, yeah. Yeah. and you know it's uh, it's a uh, which uh, makes the Alba ones more if there's less of them presumably much makes less, them much less. more raises the price again for them. What well, happens then in Alba, I guess they get a lot of the other truffle to come in yeah. and just sell it as Alba truffle. Then. Do they? I should. Yeah. Truffle I mean, laundering. Don't, you know, <laughs> don't put it on paper because maybe they're going to well, crucify I've got it on video. Me. But, <laughs> but uh, no, it's, it, it's, you know, as I say, it has been, uh, like uh, for years, it's been the actual place where the prize was. Yeah. And, you know, Turin, once upon a time, was the capital of Italy. Yeah. The kings. The first king of Italy came from Turin, yeah. the Savoy king. So and he kind of like give as yeah. a present to Truman, 
when okay. he went to visit in America oh, really? and he would bring the truck Truffle. and it's always yeah. been a thing then he would yeah. send to Vienna yeah. and to Paris and would, they would send his white truffle yeah. because they couldn't find it anywhere else. This but do you think there's been a like oh well, I feel there's been an explosion of everyone like now truffle is absolutely everywhere mm. I mean all year round in the chemical truffle oil and stuff yeah. like that. Mm. But it just, I don't know, do you feel now? It's a lot of truffle. Truffle everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. It's on every truffle menu. Promotion. You know, it's like you have to have a truffle item all year round on your mm. menu, and especially now. I don't agree very much with truffle oil. No. I don't have any truffle oil, and I tend to sit down in restaurants. If there's a truffle oil menu, I'll get up and I leave. can't bear it. I, I hate the smell. It. No, I don't eat in the restaurant. I think it's a benchmark to but show a, how yeah. much you understand of the produce. Yeah. I think. And you know, for me, it's available to have it every day, but I kind of eat it only two or three times because yeah. it's one of those yeah. flavors that you have to keep a yeah. little bit the magic with yeah. that. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. and I, yeah. even the people that love it, I know I have some clients in yeah. London and, you know, they say as soon as you arrive, it comes, but they don't come every day to it. Yeah. 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 They come one, twice, something that needs to be yeah. eaten. Savored. It goes against the way we are thinking about food for the last 50 years, which is the wrong way to think about yeah. food that we manage. It's everything, all the time, a lot of it, and let's throw away more than a quart, yeah. more than three quarters of that, throw it in the bin. So yeah. this is, and Truffle maybe can give us a little idea of re-educate us to respect food yeah. in a little bit of a better way. And you know, the fact that it's so, as you say, <clears throat> I think the the production commercialization is much better and the production is is growing but not in Italy as I say in Alba the, the production is completely down mm. but you know obviously there is like Romania Bulgaria yeah. all this area when you have an environment that is good enough when you have yeah. the enough difference of growing trees and yeah. things like that then then you will, will get that yeah. please do start yeah we should <laughs> 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 <laughs>